Hi everyone, good morning and greeting from Lone Province still. I hope everyone is doing fine and hopefully you haven't forgotten me yet. It's been quite a long time since I uploaded my previous video. I have been isolating myself a lot lately after the surgery and now everything is slowly getting back to normal and I'm so thrilled to be able to get back to my normal routine and here we are coming back with another video and today is quite special because Luang Prabang is celebrating the big annual festival called boat racing so during mid-September every year which is the midterm of the Buddhist land Luang Prabang is celebrating the boat racing festival in fact today is really important day for Buddhist people in Laos because it is the day of feeding the ghost we call it uh, the festival of feeding the hungry spirits in Lao is known as Bun Ho Kaputaptin. As you can see here at the annual market fair, people are selling a lot of fruits and other things. So in today in particular, a lot of Buddhist people would buy fruits, crackers, sticky rice, and meat, and some other food, and then they would wrap them in banana leaves, and then they'll bring the offering to the temple. They can either place those offering in front of the uh, Buddha statues under the big trees next to the big stone, right next to the pagodas as well as in their backyards and that is to offer to the hungry spirits. So in Buddhist culture as we believe the afterlife or reincarnation, so we believe that when you die your soul would end up in the spirit world and wherever you ended up it depends on your karma. That's what we call it so it's all about the good and the bad that you have done during your life when you were alive and that karma would determine whether or not you would end up in a good place or a bad place so that's the meaning behind this offering there's a saying that one night before the full moon the hell gate would be open and that is to release those spirits to give them the chance to come back to their families in the living world to get themselves fed and for those who have no family in the living world left to feed them they can always find a random uh, offering from the generous people so that's why this offering is really really important for a lot of Buddhist people it's to feed the stray spirits or for those who have no family left to feed them so that's the story behind it And here comes the afternoon as you can see villagers are trying to drag their boat to the river as I have mentioned earlier that today is the annual boat racing festival so many villages in Luang Prabang and from other provinces would send their boats and their rowing teams for the competition and as you can see that this road is quite small comparing to the boat so they're trying to drag it out and it takes quite some time I think it's almost 40 minutes as I recall and it's kind of blocked the road and it caused some little traffic here which is quite interesting so can you imagine like every year they have to drag this boat in and out like I saw it like every year and it's very very frustrating for, for this man you know to try to get it out anyway and here we go finally they managed to move it and then the traffic is slowly moving And here comes the evening as you can see here in a big truck is full of young men these are one of the rowing teams parading around town and singing asking their fans to come cure them tomorrow morning and as you can see here on the street is full of people very busy selling flowers and biscuits for the offering 
And here me and my little niece are at a shopping mall trying to get our uh, offering stuff like candies, biscuits and crackers. For tomorrow, we are going to give alms to the monk. As a Buddhist person, I'm not going to miss this chance because it's really important. And there would be maybe more than 100 monks walking in our village, so we better have a lot of And here comes the morning, the big day at this point is at 5 o'clock and the first temple has just arrived. So monks are collecting alms from the local people here, which is beautiful, the big day, and everyone is very excited. Me, my brother, and my niece are also offering as well. This is my niece's first time to be able to give alms to the monk because in the village where my mom lives doesn't have temple. So she learned something today. And this is the third temple, so totally there were 125 monks according to the lady next to me here. And so lucky that me and my niece got a lot of crackers yesterday. I personally really like this ceremony. In Buddhist culture, the almsgiving ceremony is the practice of generosity that local people are offering something to the monks. Now it's 6 o'clock and as you can see on the street is full of stalls. Everything starts pretty early today so I decided to take a walk and it's pretty empty. Not many people even though on both sides of the street is full of shops and clothing. So people paid 150,000 kip to have the space to sell their things here. And it's interesting because every time I walk on the street it's always empty and today you see a lot of tents, people selling all kinds of things. This is what Nam Khan River looks like early morning. So everything is ready and prepared. And soon the boat racing ceremony will start. And meanwhile in the temple, everyone is busy preparing for the main offering. As you can see here, these ladies are preparing food for the monks and some, you know, giving alms to the monk for those who missed the morning session. Now it's at 8 o'clock and as you can see here, this is one of the rowing teams on their green shirt with the paddles on their hands. So they're going to parade down to the river and then the competition will start. And before the competition begins, I decided to take a walk along the market and here's what I come across. This is actually my favorite part because on the market like this, you can try just anything like any local cuisine, dessert, barbecue, whatever you name it. And this is something that you don't get every day. So it is quite special if you want to try like local food, like real local cuisine. If you come across any type of festivals in Laos that always involve food, then that means you're lucky you can have anything.
And finally, here is the fun part. Those boats are slowly started moving, and the crowd is getting bigger and bigger. So the ceremony is about to begin very soon. I personally do not enjoy this part that much because it's way too crowded, like a lot of people cheering and yelling and a lot of music, very loud. You can hardly hear each other when you talk. So that's the reason I had to do the voiceover. Otherwise, there would be some copyright because of the music in the background. But anyway, it's, it's once a year anyway. So I decided to stay here for a little bit and just enjoy the boat. So this team is about to start. As you can see, the lady is giving the blessing to the boat and hopefully they will win the competition. So let's enjoy the race. And here we are, that is the starting line. So it's almost a kilometer long from the starting to the finish line and it's quite brutal. And as you can see, the green shirt, that's the team that we saw this morning. And looks like they're a little bit slower than the blue shirt. It's quite sad, but when you look at the boat, you know, the blue boat is much longer than the other one. So I don't know if this is a fair competition. I don't know, so you judge it. At this point is already 1 p.m. and as you can see on the street is full of people compared to this morning. So there are a lot of people coming from nearby provinces and nearby villages to join the ceremony. And this is something that the children love a lot. Such a cute costume. <laughs> Alright, that's it for today everyone. Thank you so much for watching my video. The street is getting more and more busy, so I better run back home. And I'll see you in the next video. For now, take care and goodbye.